Hello everyone, this is Rick with Cybermedics and we're here today to talk about adding a YubiKey security key to your Outlook.com email account. So let's get started. I'm going to walk you through the process about how to add the key to the account and when we get to the end I'll if you stick around to the end I'll tell you why I don't really think it's a good idea to add a YubiKey security key to Outlook.com. So let's go ahead and get through the process. So once you've logged into your Outlook.com email account, you'll come over here to the right and you'll come down to My Microsoft Account. Now this is kind of buried, so you'll have to kind of dig through the account here. Now we'll slide, slide down here to where it says Security. And then we'll go to Security Dashboard. And then here we'll, where it says Advanced Security Options, we'll click on that. And it's going to ask me to verify my identity because I'm changing security options. So we'll select the email account that I have as an alternate email account. And then I'll have to go get the code for that. Okay, so once we have the security code, we can go in here and actually change the security options. And what you'll see here is add a new way to sign in or verify, and that's what you're going to click. And then if you want to add a security key, you're going to say use a security key. And then it's either going to be a near field communication device, NFC, or a USB device, and today we're using a regular USB device. So just click Next. And it's going to come up with a couple prompts. One is from Google requesting your authorization to do this process. The next one is from Microsoft making a request to synchronize with your key. You're going to click OK. And then it's going to ask you to enter your PIN. for your actual security key. And then you're going to physically touch the key. And then you're going to give it a name. You're going to click Next. And this is the key, the key, no pun intended. Next time you sign in, you can use your security key instead of a password. And now we're getting to the point where I told you earlier in the video that why well, I would recommend that we probably don't want to add a key because it's not much value added. So just say got it. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to log out of this account just to kind of walk you through the process to show you how the key is used with the account. So we're going to sign out and we're going to sign back in. And here you can go ahead and enter your password like normal, or you can say other ways to sign in. So it's not forcing you, if you just signed in with your password, it would go ahead and take your password. It's not going to force you to, to use the key. So, but if you click other ways to sign in, you can say use a security key, which you have previously registered. And now it's going to ask you for your PIN again. And you will physically touch your key. And you can just log in. And that's, you didn't use a password at all, right? You just used your email address, the PIN for your security key, and touching your key, and it actually authenticated you to your account. So the problem I have with that implementation is there is no way that Outlook will force you to use the security key instead of using a key on Outlook.com. I would go into your Microsoft account tab here and go to your security dashboard and advanced security options. We're going to turn on the two-step verification and we're going to click Next 
And there's multiple ways you can do this. You can do alternate email address, a phone number, an application. And I recommend picking a method that you've already secured with a security key. So we're going to do this since I have this account secured with a security key. And it's going to give you a code and ask you to enter that code and put it in here. And click next. This doesn't really apply. And now you can see this has been added to your second factor authentication. Now your second factor authentication is on. I'm going to remove the key. key has been removed. Now we're going to log out of the account. Now we're going to log back into the account. And you see there is no alternative method for login. So now it's forcing you to use your password. And it's also forcing you to use one of your alternative methods for two-factor authentication, which both of these have been secured with a key. So I want you to actually rekey in your email address and say send the code. Once you have the code, you can key that in here and click verify. And the beauty of that was the email code that was sent, that account was secured with a security key that is required to log in. If you add the security key to your Outlook account, it's not going to force you to use the key. So you can still use a password. What I recommend is that you turn on two-step verification, you don't add a key, and your two-step verification methods should be something that requires a security key in order to access these accounts. But if you add the key to your Microsoft account, you can do that to make it easier to log in. The downside to adding the key to the Microsoft account the main point I would make is there is no way to force you to use the security key to authenticate to the account and that's what I don't like about how they've implemented it. Please post any questions or comments below. Hope you will consider subscribing and have a great hack-free day.